Green Style is a program funded by the New South Wales Environmental Trust. It's comprised of three councils, Hornsby, Willoughby and Karingai, and we're bringing biodiversity and sustainability to the people of this area. Over 300,000 people, roughly the size of Canberra, are going to be touched by this program. I, I think that um, everyone's heard about solar, it's on the news every second day, but I think the barrier would be people are keen on doing it, but they don't know where to start, where to begin, who do I see, what do I do? By helping people complete the rebates, it's uh, certainly taken a bit of a load off them and made it a little bit easier because water tanks aren't something that people are really familiar with, even though it has become more prominent in the last couple of years. The whole area is booming. Um, we're being told that through various studies. The ACTU has done one, the federal government has done another. It's quite clear that the whole environment industry is, is growing and growing. And it's matched by the, the public awareness of environmental matters, not least climate change. So all of that feeds in. So what we want to do with programs like Green Style is make people aware of biodiversity and sort of help them as much as possible make their properties a haven for biodiversity. It has to be an incentive positive based program, not a regulatory based program, so that people uh, feel totally involved in it. Yeah, I mean, we're, I mean, my husband and I, we've thought about doing things, but it's like, oh, we just don't know where to start. But if someone came out and pointed us in the right direction, that'd be fantastic. Initially, we were going to look at just biodiversity, but when we sat together writing the grant, we realised there was a real need for energy and water as well, which now has caused us another problem. We're going to employ three advisors to go to the people of Karingai, Willoughby and Hornsby, but they're not only going to be experts on weeds and biodiversity, but they have to have their head around water, energy, which means solar and rain tanks and all of this sort of stuff, all the rebates. It's going to be very difficult to find the right people. We have done cold knocks on the door with someone who comes with all the relevant brochures and um, that's been really successful and it's flushed a whole lot of people out for bush care and yeah. other stuff but it is time consuming. So if we had people with different skills that service style three well, classes, is that what we're thinking? Uh, well, whatever period of time divided by three, just <laughs> We've just had our first meeting and there's a number of obstacles we have to overcome. We have to talk to the contractors, we have to talk to the community, we have to organise all the forms, we have to organise the Green Style Advisors, we have to organise the evaluation. It's, there's just so much to do, we're a little bit overwhelmed at the moment. I just think people think there's probably always a catch to something. Would you mind doing a really quick survey? Like, this is ultra fast. If you want to fill out a questionnaire. Do you live in the area? What we're trying to do now is social research. Does your property include a creek or a water course? Try to develop a program that'll assist residents in the best way. Uh, you'd be 25 to 39? Uh, next one up. Next one up. <laughs> well, what, uh, oil of boule is working well. <laughs> but trying to see how people can make their homes and gardens more sustainable. Free home visit from a council officer who would uh, talk to you about lessening your environmental footprint. No. No? No? Fair enough? <laughs> well, I reckon that setting up stalls at uh, festivals is a very slow way to get people. Uh, as soon as you say, council would like to offer you a free surface or something, it's like, oh, council, oh. You know, there's a real barrier to having council do anything for you. The thought that there is no such thing as a free lunch is really, really sort of engaging people so that as soon as something's offered, it's like, where's the catch? And it's very depressing because here we are trying to actually help people. So it makes us wonder, like, how are we going to approach getting people to sort of have visits from sustainability officers? How are we going to break through that barrier? I'm starting to think that the shotgun approach is the way. I don't think there's any one way to get to everyone. I think that turning up at festivals, direct mail, cold calling. I just think you've got to try as many different things as possible because some approaches will work with some people and others will with others. So I don't think there is a, a golden bullet. Sometimes in front of me I see a lovely tree <laughs> and I admit I may not know its name but I just think it's great to me a tree's a mate. Our life would never be the same if we didn't have trees. With all their lovely leaves Lifting up their branches to the sky High, 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 I love trees They bring me to my knees To thank the Lord for making trees I love trees With all their lovely leaves Lifting up their branches to the sky High, 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 I love trees They bring me to my knees To thank the Lord for making Thank the Lord 
for my head.